what we're doing? Just explain, please. Uh, Neil, <laughs> Neil kindly came to Alien Storm. Yeah. And was given some money to buy something for Poppy. Oh, for Poppy, so. So I bought this couple of Poppies for Avery. So you got the, the lamb. Yeah, and yeah. the good night and treats. And the good night treats, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, thanks for that. Yeah, thank you very much. And you're from, it used to be a fan of the cheese from the Oh, hi. Is it? Yes. We met him earlier. Right, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Thank you. So can I have this? We're looking at the Rymor stand. So, who was asked us to look at the Matt Woodman? Yeah, last us to look at the Super Brig. So this is the Super Brig 69 plus, four berth, four seats. So this is 56,155. 2.3 one forty brake horsepower engine, six, Euro six D. <laughs> Gross weight is three thousand five hundred. What the payload is there doesn't say. And this has got the diamond show pack, solar panel, dash cam, reversing camera, flat screen alloy wheels, dab radio. The show price fifty seven two ninety. And this has got a massive carriage. And it's got a bed that goes up to make even more room. Yeah. First VED free. There you go. Yeah. So if you're worried about the VED. Really nice alloy wheels. It's on a Fiat. And a Gold Award dealer. <laughs> this is very plush in here. We've got a nice sort of like bolster cushion there for the travel seats, which are otherwise a bit upright. Is that leather? Is that no the other one? Front the ones. Other one. Not sure. It certainly has a feel of leather. Yeah. That's quite nice in here. Very bright. It's an electric drop-down bed. People always ask me, can I? ask them to put the electric drop down bed. I don't think they like doing that because obviously where's the battery out I guess? Yeah that's right. It comes down fair way does it comes down to there. Yeah. yeah. Presumably it's got to be behind these travel seats. Yeah. Doesn't look the widest of beds but just looking at the oven here. Dometic combi oven. It's quite high that isn't it? Fridge. Yeah, it's domestic double door fridge, freezer, Truma blown air. We've got a touch screen doing something there. Can't see what it's doing. Uh, yeah. You've got your corner burners, three gas burners, sink, and a huge drawer. Oh, great big drawer here. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And it pulls out to another. Look at that. Great big drawer. Well, no. you won't, yeah, you wouldn't be uh, short of cutlery in here, would you? No, no. Sure. There's spare screws in there as well. Yeah, that's always handy. <laughs> <laughs> Never quite sure about an oven all the oh, way up there. Out there. No. No, I think it's obviously because Continental vans don't tend to do ovens, do no, they? So that's an no, add-on. I just think you'd be getting things out of there. Yeah, I think I'll be doing the cooking. We've got these portholes. They? That's the brig idea. Brig idea, yeah. Yeah, gives it the nautical theme. We've got. How does that work? That's it. Like smoky glass doors. That's quite big. It's got a nice corner. Wow! <laughs> Look at the shower head. That's the biggest shower head I've ever seen in a motor. Wow! <laughs> Be careful what you do with that, aren't you? Yeah. Well, that's good. 
It's a bit of a shuffle to get round the bed here, I've got to confess. There's a step here. Oh yeah, that is a shuffle. Oh, I can't get, can't get round there. It's not much. A problem there, yeah, that's a bit, like I say, a bit of a shuffle to get in there. Is it any better this way? I suppose once you're in there, once you're up on the first step, you can get in. And obviously, I think this is on its lowest position, this bed. It will go higher, presumably go up to about there. Probably actually easier with it in the higher position. Mm. Yeah, because then you don't need... Yeah. It is a, like a, a, a shuffle round. Yeah. Yeah, so as you get used to that, you've got hanging space in there, I would imagine. Yeah. It's a bit of a stretch from here. It's nice though. It has a nice nautical feel to it. Speaking of nautical. <laughs> yeah. What a nice little bathroom. A washroom. And it's actually separate, completely separate from the shower. It doesn't sort of make into an ensuite or anything like that. And in some ways that's easier. You mm. can still fold Yeah, that slides across. That slides across to close the area off. And it's a good sized bed with a bit of a cut off on that side. It looks long enough, plenty long enough and plenty wide enough. Yeah, not bad. This is the Ryemore uh, Super Brig Suite. I believe is a rear lounge model. Okay. Yep. 140 brake horsepower engine. This yeah. is low tax. Yeah, I think they're paying the tax for you in the first year. A lot of people are put off by the increase in the vehicle excise duty. Yeah, they're saying the first year is uh, paid for. So the show price is 56,995. This has got the diamond show pack, solar panel, dash cam, reversing camera, alarm, fly screen door, alloy wheels, seat covers, dab radio. This is 7.17 meters long. Uh, gross weight is 3,500. And you can have automatic for 1,995 on this. So there, there isn't such a big garage in there 500 by 700 more of a locker really yeah that's because obviously you've got a lounge at the back okay let's go in two steps up right so you've got travel seats little l-shaped area here a table that folds up yeah, I like such that a good idea. idea. Don't I? Such a good idea. Yeah. Gives you more space and you can put your coffee on it. Great, yep. great idea. Yep. Thumbs up for that. Massive double bed up there. I never understand any of those announcements. It's something about celebrities go caravanning okay. and they're filming here. Right. There's probably some stars here. What do you reckon? Yeah. I'm looking for star motorhomes. There's your control panel up there. What do you think of this kitchen? So it's nice. Quite long. Yeah. Isn't it? yeah. Three gas burner. Yeah. No oven in here. It's oh, up whoa. there again. There's the oven. Oh, well, these little dometic things. That's all right for you, though. Isn't oh, it? it's not. It's not. You know what? It's not way up in the. No, I mean, no. you can see in there. Yeah. Yeah. True. Double door. 
I think the novelty will wear off on those soon. <laughs> no, never. Yeah. Well, you've got these nice drawers, haven't you? Yep. You get it open. With the same idea again, with the yeah, well, little that, bit inside. Yeah. That's really nice. Yeah. Just a little bit worried about that. There seems to be an awful lot of wood there Yeah. for a small drawer at the bottom. I wonder how long that will last because you're sort of pulling on the top of it. You are, yeah. Hmm. hmm. A TV that you can have down here right. or up there. It's different. And that's a bit like the unicorn used to have, wasn't it? That the TV sort of in the in the corridor. Yeah. You just have to watch your head there. Let's have a look at the lounge because this is the reason for this van. Here's the nice square lounge at the back. It's a little bit wider that side than this side, but assume this makes into a double bed. And you've got yet another table. That's all right. Yeah, we're fine, thanks. thanks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we'll look around, it looks like the table goes down to make up the bed. Yeah. Got the open spaces in, in the back there. But yeah, it's a nice lounge. It's, it's the wardrobe. Yeah, there's a huge wardrobe. Let's have a look. Something in there. So something in there? Yeah. Somewhere to put your uh, thermal screen. Hmm. And a locker at the bottom there. That table seems quite quite big compared that, to the one at the front, doesn't it? Yeah. You can see that doesn't fold. Yeah. I notice it's got a it foot gone? operated thing and it, you can move it out the way, I guess. So if you've got if you want to be over this side. Yeah, yeah, you can slide it out bed, the way. Yeah. So that's quite good. I mean, it's got to be like that if it's forming part of the bed, isn't it? Yeah. It's got to be that size. It's got to be the size to cover the hole, isn't it, really? Yeah. Yeah, but it means that if you folded it out of the way, you can get in there easily. Mm. There's tr Truma blown here, so then I can see the vents down there. Yeah. Seems like a lot of motorhome on a 3,500 kilogram chassis. It does, doesn't it? I don't yeah. know what it says about payload on here. Check the payload. Yeah, it doesn't actually say, does it? Because it's just saying. No, just saying where its towing capacity is. Let's see if I can get a better shot of that. Yeah. I don't know if that's got anything on the back. There's an optional extras. There's the whole range there. Okay. And you've got a little dicky seat there. Yeah, this is quite nice. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the upholstery is really nice, this isn't is it? This is also, yeah. is it a travel Th seat That's as well? a rear facing travel seat, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. It is. Yeah, well, it wouldn't have the headrest there, would no. it, otherwise? No. I don't know how. Nice. <laughs> well, the implications of travelling backwards are. No. It'd be like I'd be on a train, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'd feel a little bit. Yeah, because you haven't really you got no window, got have you? A window no. to look at. Yeah. I suppose you could be looking out the back, but I'll go sit there. Yeah. Yeah, but it's a nice big van, double bed. Bed here, I guess. Mm. Mm, probably not actually. No, I don't think there is. No, no is you it? don't need to it's no. four berths. It's four berths, is two it? Two up there and two at the back. So why do you need three travel seats? Just a thought. Yeah, so this is a McLuhan Fusion 360, overall length uh, 6.99 metres, 2.33 wide. It's uh, licence friendly or you can upgrade to 3650. Its user payload is either 443 or 593 and it's 56995 on the road. And this uh, includes a Lux pack, heated garage cruise control air, cab air con, alloy wheels, full height freezer, let's have a look inside, good, like decking on the floor here, no. oh yeah, we've, we've been pleasantly surprised when we've come in these McLuhan's, I mean uh, previously they were quite a low spec van weren't they? Yeah, there was lots of them when we first got the first motor, and there were yeah. lots of them about. So you've got leather upholstery, got a drop-down bed, 
above. Bit of a cut off on that, but then you can't help it really. But yeah, nice travel seats. Something I've noticed is the clothes. Oh, feet. look at Still that! Yeah, there. look. I haven't seen this for ages. <laughs> I thought it was going to open the other no way. way. <laughs> no one did, didn't it? Yeah. So you've got a closed in locker. Oh, joy of joy. And you actually put a couple of speakers in there, didn't you? Yeah, I actually put speakers in that door. That, that was what we had on the Auto Trail um, Vista. Auto Cruise. Sorry, what did I say Auto Trail? I, well, that's what we had on the Auto Cruise Vista. It makes it into a locker. And it's just a simple door, isn't it? Mm, that means you can leave things in there safely. Yeah. Yeah, so I haven't seen that since, that no. idea. No, no. And it's such a good idea. Yeah. Often the best ideas are the good ideas. Look under there, I think that's your cutlery, isn't it? There. Yeah, look. Cutlery drawer. Corner thing. Corner thing. <laughs> That's quite good. Nice big shower. They've used the wheel arch area there. Very stylish sort of fittings. Nice looking sink. There's an overall feel of quality in these. I have yeah. to say that they do feel well made something that doesn't come across obviously sometimes on camera but it's one of the reasons I open cupboards if the cupboard hinge falls off yeah that's, nice. that's a good rack isn't yeah. it there must be one obviously below it's a good use of space isn't it it's yeah it's excellent use of space quite a Quite a trip up into the um, pools, and there's your garage in there, so you can grab things out of there. As that say, attention not suitable for children under six years without supervision. That's because a couple of steps up there, I think. But they've made use of the steps. You always say that, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Still quite a way up there. But no, that's all right. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Jenny's face. Right, <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's good. Yeah, no. It is good. You have to do a little bit of a shuffle up there. Yeah. But yeah, you've got TV points over there. So you've got tie down points there. Not quite what's going on there. But. All right, so, so yeah, so the side facing yeah. seat belt. Okay, okay. Casual journeys, I would say. Do you really want to be facing that way? No, generally. No. No, I think the, the two the two seats facing this way are much better. Yeah, auto seaters would only put them on the front facing. Yeah. 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 But yeah, generally, it looks pretty good. Payload 300. Where does that stand? Tie down points. It's got a bike rack on the back. Very echoey in here. Light, that's good. Oh, <laughs> 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 Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, that's no, good. 